Okay, students, so as we are looking up at the night sky, we are recognizing groups of stars that may form an image, and some may or may not have a story behind them. And we've seen several now, Orion, Virgo the Virgin, Cassiopeia, Pisces, the Big Dipper, all of these things, but they're not necessarily all constellations. Some of them are just asterisms. So you can call the grouping of stars one of two things. Either they are a constellation or are an asterism. There's just a slight difference between them I thought I would just clear up. A constellation is, um, I'll say a group of stars that has a story behind it. And I'll just say again, this will be like Virgo, the Virgin, or Orion, the Hunter, or Cassiopeia, the Great Beauty. These would definitely be constellations because they have a story behind them. And it turns out that the constellations that have stories behind them, there are 88 of them. And as they are divide up the entire sky, they're all sort of non-overlapping. So if you get two constellations that are near each other, say for example, they're not, but I'm just saying as an example here, suppose that like uh, you know Virgo the Virgin was near Orion, they wouldn't share any stars at all. They wouldn't overlap at all. That's what I mean by non-overlapping. But it turns out then that some of the other things that we've been looking at are not t officially called constellations. Like for example, the Big Dipper would be called an asterism because all the Big Dipper is is just a pattern of stars that we recognize. And of course, the Big Dipper, as you know, has looks like a one, two, three, four, has the handle and the bowl. It's just a pattern that we recognize, but there's no story or anything behind the Big Dipper. And the stars may very well overlap with some other group of stars or even a constellation. So it turns out that the Big Dipper is part of a constellation called Ursa Major. And this is also known as the Great Bear in the Sky but the Big Dipper itself is not a constellation. So I'll show you that now a little bit in the solar system simulator. So just hang on a sec. In the simulation here, and I'm trying to show you the differences between constellations and asterisms, and I'll just show you an example here as we go. So this is the uh, portion of the sky that we're most familiar with now. We're looking north, and I can just make out the Big Dipper right here. And that, of course, the pointer star is pointing to Polaris right there. And, of course, on the other side, here's Cassiopeia. And so I'll do a couple things here. The first thing I'll do is I'll turn on just the lines that so-called make up the constellation. So these are the original patterns that uh, the ancient Greeks, I believe it was, uh, came up with, sort of describe what they're seeing in the sky. So you see the W of Cassiopeia fairly well, uh, fairly well outlined here, nothing special about it. But you see a big difference here in the Big Dipper. So the Big Dipper is right here, and it's definitely not all on its own, is it here? It's just this bowl. You can see the bowl here, but it's definitely connected to a bunch of other things. And let me go ahead and rotate the sky a bit more, because I'll just sort of have you guess what the Big Dipper is part of here. So I'll just let it go. I'm just trying to make it upright a bit more by making time go a bit faster. And maybe I'll go ahead and turn the ground off. So there we go. So I'll stop it right about here because it's about upright here. And if you look then at, at the Big Dipper here sitting in this otherwise other group of stars, the Big Dipper by itself here is just a familiar pattern to us. So it would be officially called an asterism. The Big Dipper is not a constellation, but it's connected to this bigger group of stars. And if you just look at it for a little bit, just look at this group of stars here and maybe see what shape you think it might look like. Look at that there. Okay, here we go. Turn it on. Three, two, one. I'll turn on the artwork. It's a bear. So you see the Big Dipper, the handle is actually the tail of a bear. The pot or bowl of the Big Dipper is just sort of in the bear's, I don't know, upper back here. And you see how the rest of the stars, there's the front leg and the hind leg right there. That's what the ancient Greeks saw, ancient Greeks saw of these patterns up in the sky. And if I go over to, oh, there's Pollux and Castor right there. And let me just turn all this off just for a second again here and go back over to Cassiopeia, which is up here. And if I turn on the lines again, there's just the W. But now if I turn on the constellation art, you can see there's Cassiopeia there, the great beauty. I think she's looking at herself in a mirror because she loved herself so much. But you can see that the W here somehow just outlines a woman sitting in a chair looking in the mirror. So the Cassiopeia would be an example of a complete 
constellation because she doesn't share her stars with anything else. So Cassiopeia, definitely a constellation. Big Dipper is an asterism, part of the constellation constellation Ursa Major, which is the Big Bear. So we'll just sort of leave it at that, and you can go and see there's just all kinds of the different um, ones of the 88 constellations. You can just sort of see them all in here, and they are all non-overlapping. 88 of 88 of them there's something like 14 men and women nine birds something like that but there you go constellation versus asterism